we will talk about schema registry what it means the benefits it provides we will also do an hands on using confluent schema registry we know that apache kafka producer write data to kafka topics and kafka consumers read data from kafka topic as you can see kafka takes bytes as an input and publishes them without any data verification now your consumer needs to parse it and interpret the data coming into kafka topic when all goes well you will be happy and when it doesn't you hit a panic button this panic mainly occurs in few of a situations like first is the field you are looking for doesn't exist anymore and second is the field of type i mean the type of field has changed that is what used to be a string is now an integer these are the situations which will result in parsing exception now what are our options to present to prevent those situation and overcome these issues one is we can catch exception on parsing errors but it will make your code hard to maintain second option never change the data producer and triple check your producer code will always send a field in real world it is impossible now the best thing is to adapt a data format like avro and enforce the rules that allow us to perform schema evolution while guaranteeing not to break your downstream apps this is where confluent schema registry comes in this confluent schema registry lives outside and separately from your kafka brokers as you can see your producer and consumer still talk to kafka but now they also talk to schema registry producer will check if schema is available in the schema registry if not available it will register and cache it the schema registry will verify if schema is either the same as before or a valid evolution if not it will return an exception kafka avro serializer exception and if schema is valid and all checks pass the producer will only include a reference to schema that is schema id in the message sent to kafka not the whole schema advantage of this is now your message sent to kafka are much smaller so we will look here hands on on confluent schema registry i have already installed the kafka which is given by this confluent as you can see i have already installed the confluent kafka so you can see that we have have a cluster if you go here the broker is there we have a topics we have a connect we have case kill consumers first what we need to do is now broker is up so we need a producer let us create a topic let's name the topic as transactions let's see let's number of partition be 1 now let us create with default now you can see that we have created a topic which is transactions now if you see the messages it is empty because we have not published any messages to it and if you see schema there are no schemas currently so now we have a sample application here you can see i have a producer application we will go through the producer i have a producer application so if you see the producer application 
we have a topic called transaction and we will mention all the properties like bootstrap server config it is running at 1992 and axe config is all and retries config is zero the important thing to note is we are using kafka avro serializer for a value class that means when we produce the messages to the topic transactions we will have a schema with subject name as transactions slash transition slash value you as you can see it later here i have mentioned that schema registry url where the schema is running is at 8081 what we are doing is we have a kafka producer this is the payment so what is payment payment is an avro schema so if you see we are iterating till 0 to 10 and we are giving order id and the payment payment is order id thousand region so now let us see first avro schema for payment now if you see here a payment this needs to be com dot rahul dot schema tutorial now at this namespace we have a payment this is the schema we have a namespace we have a type as record name of this is a payment now if you see fields there is a id field and amount field now let us see this is our avro schema now in producer we have is this payment now this value should follow this avro schema so now let us see how it works first let us do clean and one more thing is if you che check the pom.xml we have a confluent registry repository and we have added kafka avro serializer which comes from confluent and we have a kafka client and apache avro and the main part is this one where we generate the sources here we are saying our avro is it is at this location now and this will generate a target generated sources avro here will be our payment class now if you check the producer class if you check the producer class we don't have payment it will be auto generated when you click on this install now let us install it okay we have an error as you can see this will be we have if you see avro schema there is id and amount so if you see this this we need to remove so this is the valid constructor now let me try to install again now you can see we have successfully built it now if i run this producer example if i run this then we should get some messages into this topic let us check if we get any messages so now we are running it so it might take some time so it is running and now you can see the messages would start flowing as you can see first it is initially added the schema if you see schema we don't have any schema set for key here we did not set anything for key but we did set for value now if you chief value 
this is the schema you can see version also here the here currently there is only one version so if you see messages if you see offsets you can see there are 10 messages flowed so now let us see let me delete this and this will be a second thing let us change this com dot rahul dot schema tutorial now if you see we have added a name region to the schema now if i again clean and install it okay let us clean and then install it now we have updated this field so we have changed the avro producer now what will happen so we have changed this now we have one more field which is a string let it be a region now if i install it we need to install and run the project now it is installing now build is success now let us run and see what happens whether the messages flow to the transactions topic or not let us see thing is if this change this producer this avro schema change has done on producer side and it is breaking the schema that's why you can see as i mentioned there will be an error so as you can see this is a 409 because schema being registered is incompatible with the earlier schema so producer schema has changed but it is incompatible with an earlier schema and this is except expected so we got 409 so as i told the schema registry will verify if schema is either the same as before or a valid evolution so as you can see if you want to you uh, if you want evolution then what you need to do is add a default field so that whatever earlier schema was there it is still valid and version has been updated so if you see let me delete payment 2a and let us clean it and again install it this time schema should be evolved so if i install and run this as you can see messages have flowed these are the 10 messages which we got and we have a schema it has only one version now we have ch changed the schema now we have changed the schema now let us run this time it should evolve because this we are putting as default so it will be backward compatible with the previous schema that is the main advantage of using schema registry so that you do not break the code completely now if you see here we can see if you select a topic transactions now if you see schema now you can see there is a version 2 which is a valid one now it has successfully produced a topic but the main thing is the schema as you can see now the new schema has been updated now if you see version history now there should be two versions this will be previous version and this is the evolved, evolved version so in this way we can have schema as evolution using schema registry 
now if you click on this turn on version diff then you can clearly see that this field has been added and it is a valid schema evolution this is all for this session thank you